Okay, let's get at it. Good morning. It is Sunday, December 12th, 2021, and it is makeup day one. So most of you who have been watching our channel know that I missed about 28 days of trail earlier this summer due to a number of issues in my hip, the most severe of which was a torn tendon. So I missed 386.8 miles while Jim was still hiking. And so today is day one of working on those makeup miles. The good news is I thought to get Gore-Tex shoes for this part of the trip because I thought snow would be an issue. Turns out it's not a snow issue so far. It's a very wet and muddy trail this morning. So today I have somewhere between 17.8 and 20.6 miles to do. The good news is Jim is going to slack pack me for most of these makeup miles, which helps. Uh, this morning he's actually on trail with me just to make sure I get started right, I guess. And because we haven't hiked for four days, so our legs are kind of sore, so he wanted to get out and get a little hiking in as well. So today's plan includes three major climbs and about seven minor climbs, our seven total climbs. We're gonna go up Tieringham Cobble this morning first, and Jim will join me for that. And then he'll turn around and go back to the car, and I'm gonna go up, what's the second one? I forgot already, the ledges. I'm not so good at this as he is. Uh, it'll take me time to get used to it. And then the third one is called Ice Gulch. We'll go by that today. So I will do my best to video the highlights, but I will refer you to day 72 of the trek when Jim did this part, because he carried a GoPro and did a lot more uh, vid of the trail itself. But I'll do my best to bring you my experience on these 386.8 miles. I'm expecting the makeup miles to take me somewhere between 25 and 28 days. I was out for 28 days. Jim hiked 26 of those 28 days. I don't know if I'm gonna hike as fast as he did, but, uh, and how the weather will cooperate because it's December and January when I'm making up these miles, but I'll see what I can do. This morning is super windy, but it's supposed to be dry all week. Um, and it is in the mid to low to mid thirties today. So it should be a great day to put in some miles. And I'll use his phrase and say, we'll see you out there. Okay, I guess this is where the swamp we just uh, walked through is fed from. Who would have thought Massachusetts is as swampy in December as it was in August? Okay, we've made it up climb one, which I'm sorry to say didn't seem like a climb at all. I think I'm in much better shape now than I was uh, when we were in here. Well, I wasn't here when you were here in August, which was kind of nice to uh, go up climb one and not feel like it was a big deal. Pretty view and lots of views today because the leaves are off the trees. So it should be uh, an interesting difference between when Jim came through here in August and me coming through here in December. We just made it up climb Ooh. two of the day, and uh, this is where my support team leaves me. And uh, they'll head back to the car and then pick me up later today. And I've got about 17 more miles to go to hit that stretch goal today, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's like the little mama bird watching the babies leave the nest. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this goes. As I retreat back to the car the easy way, um, I guess I just want to officially say good luck, Melissa. You're going to kick butt. Um, I was thinking about saying better you than me, but that seems a little, uh, a little rude, so maybe I won't say that. I'll just think it really loud. Weather's going to be the big question over the next uh, 25 or so hiking days. You are going to kick some bootay.
Okay, we're passing a uh, beaver pond here, and there's a whole lot of ice going on. We've had some snow flurries this morning. Doesn't feel too cold while I'm moving, and the sky up there is nice and pretty blue. So we'll take it. It's probably mid 30s, it's a little bit windy, but uh, the trail's going fine. Three climbs down, four to go today. Ice skating, anyone? Another pond with a layer of ice on it. Looks like a bunch of uh, branches or sticks have skittered across it, or animals, I'm not sure which, but there's a bunch of markings from it. Kind of cool. The theme of today is water. There's been an awful lot of water crossings. Lots of rock hops, luckily, not too uh, far across or too deep. Lots of mud on the trail, but it uh, is very, very wet. We are now up on the ledges. Pretty mountains around me. Top of climb five for the day. One single little leaf holding on. And some pretty little lake out there. Almost halfway on my day and doing fine. All right, we are about eight miles left in our day, about 12 miles in, and the forest is so green and mossy, it's kind of wild. I guess that's where all the uh, water and muds come in, huh? Sun's out, sky's blue, life is good. Right. We are up at Ice Gulch, which is this huge gulch valley thing, where I guess it's so cold down in the bottom, there's a lot of ice that accumulates. I'm not going down there, but it is really cool looking. We're going to keep climbing a little bit more to the top of our day. All right, that was a steep little climb up to the last ledges of the day. Whew. A little huff and puff, a little wind blowing today. We're up on the ledges, and I have about three and a half miles left to go on my day. It's actually really cool. We're going over a bridge over a gorge. I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but it is super deep and really, really cool. All right, it is just about the end of makeup day one. I have about a mile and a half to go, but figured while well, it's not too crazy downhill, I'd uh, wrap up for the day. Um, I have made it the 20, or I will have made it the 20.6 miles today, um, which is fabulous in my opinion. I honestly didn't know if I could do that. Uh, we we're pushing good miles towards the end of our summit of Springer, um, but I just wasn't sure if my legs would uh, hold out for 20 miles or not. Uh, the good news is we had, uh oh, hold on. Let me get across this muck. There we go. Uh, we had four days off after we summited Springer uh, before I came out to start my makeup miles. And I think my legs really appreciated having a couple of days off, which was really nice. Um, the kind of tough part of today is it's been wet, as you can see. So I've had a lot of uh, sort of go around some puddles and things and mud. But the good news is uh, I had gone ahead and gotten myself some new hiking boots uh, for the makeup miles and had deliberately bought Gore-Tex. I hadn't been uh, wearing waterproof boots this whole through hike because it's easier to dry your feet out when you don't have Gore-Tex. Um, but in this case, I figured snow would be an issue, um, but it's turned out to be mud and water today so far. I'll take mud and water over snow any day. So some highlights of today, the weather's been gorgeous, mid thirties and sunny. You can see now the sun's still up. I should be done right about when it's coming down. One of the downsides of hiking up in Massachusetts in December is the sun goes down about 420 up here. It's going down about 520 in Springer, uh, in Georgia. So that's uh, cut down on some hiking time for me. Um, but it just means I got to push miles just a wee bit faster to get where I need to go. Did I just lose trail? Oh, here it is. The other uh, bad news, as you just noticed, a lot of blowdowns. Um, I'm guessing because it's not prime hiking season right now. Um, out here, 
the trail crews are not out right at the moment, which is totally fine. I get it. Um, but it means I've had to be a little bit more careful uh, with figuring out where the trail is. Because it used to be if you saw down trees across part of the trail, you knew you don't go that way. And uh, down trees don't mean anything right now because there's down trees kind of all over. So um, before I get lost again, I'm going to wrap up and just say I'm really pleased with day one of Makeup Miles. Uh, getting the miles done, 20 plus is fantastic. I was happy that uh, Jim came out and hiked with me this morning. The sun is obviously still out. It's a beautiful day. And the only downside is uh, having to pay more attention to where I put my feet and follow the white places. And that's, that's not a bad thing. So we will see you tomorrow.